Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com. So today I want to talk to you about ways you can protect yourself uh, from the dangers or damages of travel, in particular airline travel and long haul travel. So the reason for this video and article, if you're reading this at alexfergus.com, you might be on the article page. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link to the article so you can check that out. But a big reason behind this was um, I recently returned from uh, a honeymoon in Hawaii, which was great by the way, but on the way back, um, I noticed a few things that I'm like, man, this is really not good for the body. And I've done a lot of traveling and I'm not uh, against traveling or anything like that. I know there's a ton of benefits for trade, adventure, holidays, all sorts of things. All right, catching up with friends and family, all good. But it does take a bit of a toll on the body. And so the one incident, or there were two incidents actually, uh, one of them was these, um, the snack food that they brought around. This is on Hawaiian Air. And like, this is a 14 gram packet, like it's nothing. But look at the ingredients on that. Excuse me, how crazy is that? I mean, it's just full of junk. You've got numbers in there, you've got flavor enhancers, soybean oil, GMO soybean oil, uh, corn, corn syrup, all sorts of junk, you know. And it's the first thing, and then the second th thing was, when we landed, uh, we got told that we had to remain in our seats because they were going to spray pesticide or insecticide throughout the cabin when we're all on board which just freaked the hell out of me I was like oh my god this is crazy anyway long story short we um managed to get off and you know wait it out and then we could go back on and get up uh bags but there was only us and uh Rebecca and I and one other who actually got off board it on a on a flight a flight with what 300 odd people which is crazy anyway but then it made me think you know all these things that we have to go through when we're traveling like the jet lag the um poor air quality, the rubbish food, obviously. So what I've done is was, I've explained all these in the article. Uh, I think it's like 12 reasons why uh, travel is disrupting to our health. So again, you can check that out, out at alexfigures.com or below if you're already over there. Uh, and then what I've decided to do is go through and put together a checklist uh, showing you how you can pre protect yourself from the damages of travel. And it's a one page checklist that I have here in front of me and you can download this on the um there'll be links within the article if you're watching this on youtube i'll put a link below you can go download this print it out and just check it out you know before you're uh going on your big adventure and they i've split into three parts prior to the trip uh during the trip and then after the trip and again my, all of this is covered in great detail on my in my blog article uh, but I just wanted to put together a simple guide you know so you can print it out so let's just run through a few of the things you can do firstly uh, if money is not a problem book a premium airline and book a premium seat so for an instance um, you know don't go with one of the budget carriers like Ryanair instead go for you know a premium carrier like British Airways or something like that or if you're flying through Asia you know you got Cathay Pacific um, Qatar Airways uh, Emirates, you know, all of those sort of really nice airlines. And then if possible, book business class or first class, all right, because it will just completely change your stress load, uh, the quality of the food, everything's so much easier, so much better. Um, you know, you're still going to have some issues, which we'll get into soon around like EMF and radiation exposure, but like everything else is just so much easier. You get more space, you're going to have a better sleep, you're going to have better food, drink, uh, less waiting, um, you know, less time in the airport, which is also stressful on the body. So if you can do that, great. If not, just look at things like, uh, you know, booking an exit row seat or um, extra comfort that Hawaiian airline had or, you know, getting a seat with a little bit of extra um, leg room or priority check-in or something because it is worth it. Uh, it'll be less time waiting, less time stressed. You'll get looked after a little bit better and uh, all that helps on the stress front. So that's the first thing. Second thing, try to get an aisle seat, um, and in particular, a seat not over the wings. So all the al electronics go through the wings, so there's a lot of radiation. Uh, and I recently flew, or a couple years ago, I flew on an A380 over the wing. I didn't even think about, you know, booking my seat at the time, completely forgot about it. And yeah, I was right over the wing, and I took my Cornet uh, Electro Smog meter here, um, which checks the EMF, electromagnetic fields. Uh, and it was off the charts, it was overloaded. And I put a link to that screenshot and the details on that in the article, so you can check that out below. So try and avoid over the wings. Uh, aisle seat is better for a couple of reasons. One, gives you direct access to the aisle so you can get up and move around, which is good if you're worried about deep vein thrombosis. 
I don't know if I said that right, but you know what I mean. Um, secondly, uh, there's less radiation coming through the window. If you're on the aisle, um, the UVA radi radiation isn't filtered that well through the window, so it's another reason. And what else have I got here? Try uh, book a plane or book a seat on a plane that doesn't have onboard Wi-Fi because think about it, you're stuck in a tiny tube, a uh, couple kilometers up in the air with two, three hundred people all using their phone, which I don't have on me, uh, turning Wi-Fi on and all connecting to the central hub. Like that's a huge exposure. So try get a flight that doesn't have onboard Wi-Fi and that will save you, uh, save your body uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, damage. Uh, what else we got? Purchase good quality spring water before you leave, you know, so it's so you got it with you um, at the airport So, you know, like uh, spring water is great uh, in a glass bottle is even better uh, It's better than the, you know, just tap water and then spend a few dollars your, your body's worth it and just sip on that throughout the flight uh, What else look into the airlines that do the insecticide spraying because not all of them do and some of them do it when passengers aren't on the plane, so they'll do it before or after. And unfortunately, there's some airlines that do it while, while they're flying, which is just scary. Uh, so Hawaiian Airlines, they go through and spray when the passengers are on board, but we're at the gate, we're at the tarmac, so you could get off. Um, so look into that if you go into a place that has strict like biosecurity issues like you know some of the Asian countries, uh, Hawaii, New Zealand, Australia, Fiji, for instance. Uh, what else? Get a bunch of supplements, CoQ10, astaxanthin, vitamin C, glutathione, all these things are going to help with the stresses of the EMF radiation and also they help the body detoxify and all those other good things. So I've got a list of them in the article, check them out. Order a bunch of them and just pop them every one or two hours while you're flying. Uh, what else? Sleep as much as you can beforehand. With the likewise with the water, get a bunch of really good uh, snacks. You know, GMO-free, organic, grass-fed jerkies, nuts. Um, I don't know. Buy some good sushi. Uh, you know, just have them on hand. Some dark chocolate. Have all them on hand because plant food is junk, as many of you know. Uh, look at using the human charger, which I don't have with me again, but I've reviewed that and put a video up on YouTube. Uh, this is a really good app. Uh, really good tool. Uh, device and an app that I use when I'm doing a lot of traveling and it helps big time with jet lag and skating rhythm and what else little things like you know be prepared get to the airport early during the trip I'm gonna run through these because I don't you know I've put together I don't want this video to drag out I have put together this document so you can download it but let's run through these real quick drink plenty of fluids stay hydrated cabin air pressure low humidity you're gonna um you're gonna lose a lot of fluids avoid the junk airplane food don't eat this uh, where your blue block is to help with sleep and sync up with your destination's time zone. Uh, get up and move around every hour or two. Avoid or minimize coffee and alcohol. Uh, ground yourself. Take the supplements and check. I've got a few articles. How to sleep on planes. How to be jet lag. And then after the trip, um, again, I've got an article, 15 tips to cure jet lag fast. So have a look at that and run through those tips. Uh, try to get a sauna session in or a sauna session in and if you can't do that have a hot bath if you can't do that Just go out and sweat for a bit and that will just help Rid the body of a lot of the pollutants that you're exposed to and uh, rehydrate and ground yourself So yeah, that's my checklist handy to have um, If you are serious about your health and you do do a lot of flying uh, Again check out the article I have on this topic that goes into a lot more detail if you have any own tips Please let me know Post them in the comments below or just, um, you know, shoot them through to me because I'd love to hear them and I'm sure my readers and listeners would as well. Uh, and if you like this, give me a thumbs up or a share or a Facebook like or whatever you, whatever platform you're on. And please be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button down the bottom. I put out one or two artic uh, videos a month and I try to put out two or three um, articles a month on my blog. So... Subscribe on YouTube and subscribe to my newsletter and blog updates on my website and enjoy and hopefully these tips will help you stay a little bit healthier next time you're traveling. Peace out.